Now this was easily the closest straw poll we ever had in a Civ 5 AI only vote. The top three were all within, I think about 20 votes of each other, and I really like that I included more civs this time around, because there was less discussion about, you know, the argument I guess of, oh why this should, this civ should have at least been included. You know, I, I for the first time, like, put in like eight or nine uh, different countries, and uh, that really helped out, because maybe, maybe you didn't like the top three. Um, you know, you were able to still vote for Hungary and the Goths, who ended up in fourth place, uh, they did really well also. So uh, it kind of took the pressure less off of like who was included and more on more of the, the power was in your guys' hands. But let's talk about the top three. Number three, Bohemia. I agree with this. Uh, again, Bohemia was about, I think, 19 votes away from the number one person. Um, and earlier in the day when I had checked the results, Bohemia was, I think, at number one for a split second. Um, so they they ended up falling to number three, and I agree. Because, man, I, I wish they would have just went to war. I, that's all they really needed to do, was go to war. And they didn't. They they sat pretty, and uh, and we've got to, you know, we got to discipline the civs that, that don't entertain us. Number two, Egypt. Yes, Egypt got number two just slightly, and you know, I agree. This was really tough because I thought that Egypt did really well, and if we would we, if we went another hundred turns, it would have been close. Um, but at number one, it's got to be Portugal. That's the thing I kept. I usually ask myself is, if we were to go another hundred turns, who would end up winning this campaign? And it was so, it was such up in the air. So much. So much of it was up in the air. I couldn't tell if Egypt would continue to dominate, you know, Egypt was going after Assyria, or if Portugal just would have continued to, to roll over Europe. I think it's likely, because Portugal was pretty cornered there in Iberia, um, but at the end of the day, I went with your guys' uh, picks, pretty much Bohemia 3, Egypt 2, and Portugal 1. And uh, this is awesome, it's kind of ironic that, you know, we're doing a best mods AI only battle right now, and I talked about how the mods seem to be most of the time overpowered, but we ended you know, a Europe campaign where the top two civs were vanilla civs. Egypt and Portugal, who's never won ever in the past. That's another reason why I was happy to give them the victory, because they have never won. We've given Egypt uh, a victory before in the past, um, but Portugal never. This was an amazing game from Portugal, so I was super pumped to see that Maria finally got her first year, uh, first victory after like two years of AI only battles. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. It was extremely fun to do. Hopefully the next series will be as good as this one. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.